Good evening to those who are worse at editing than me. This is Saw DK, and I'm doing a Saw Kenna's episode. Let me find this the sick motion track for you guys. Yeah, see that? So, uh, yeah, I got this uh, little sick cinematic editing tutorial. Not how to get cinematics, how to edit them. I can't really do how to get them because I don't have screen cap on my uh, windows because I have the whole boot thing here with the Mac. That's how I get all my Black Ops 2 stuff, and yeah. We also got the lighting for the face cam. Whoa. So yeah, basically what you want to do is we got, you know, the dude, Mr. Kenna. He hits the shot on mid. So we got to get a mat. Uh, yeah. So we got to get a cinematic of a dude on mid. And I have that. Where is it? Uh. Okay, sometimes I have brain farts and I forget where it is. Here it is. So I got my, um, what the fuck? I recorded a lot of cinematics the other day. Here they are. No, that's, that's, that's some other shit. So we got our um, cinematics, so we gotta find out which ones we want to use. So then, you know, you want to normally keep these organized as organized as possible because um, this shit can get very uh, dicey if you don't keep your stuff organized. So you always want to make folders, but that's just a quick little tip. So anyways, so you want to find the beat where you want to put your cinematic. And for that, it's going to be right here. Right there. And then right here. We're probably gonna stop it right here. So, uh, you wanna drag in your cinematic, however many you need slash want. Um, and I recorded these at a higher um, at a higher resolution than the clips, so you gotta scale it down to 67 if it's 1080 with 720. You know, you find your other cinematic. In that case, it's this one for me. Got a little dick shot going right there. Find where he gets shot. Because I'm sure you didn't record it perfectly, and you can just drag this little thing right there. I don't know what it's called. I don't care. I just know how to use it. And then press the uh, bracket, you know, to drag in your clip exactly on the beat. And then get your other cinematic. And then, um, god damn it. And then split that. So, like, right about here. And then cut it. I'm gonna cut all this so it's not cluttered. Ah. Always, always, always delete the audio. Or not delete it, but like just get rid of it by pressing it on this little, on these squares uh, to the left. Because people will hear your stuff in the time remap because that's how we're gonna do this. And it's gonna sound ugly. If you're using Twixter and you forget to do this and it gets uploaded anyway, God help you. Even though I'm an atheist. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to enable time remap on both of these. And then you want to you're going to want to set a keyframe at the beginning and at the end of each cinematic. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Go right here, do that. Delete this one cuz I didn't even mean to do that. So then um you want to select all of them and press F9 if you're on a Mac it's like F in F9 function F9 you get the point. Um so then you go into the graph editor. Now a lot of people are intimidated by the graph editor. So if you're stupid, you might not want to continue this video before you hurt yourself. So you're going to want to take the first part and then oh my god, I lost it. Take this little pin right here and drag it up like that. Then you're going to do the same thing, but in the opposite direction on the, the last one for your cinematic. So then, and then you want to go to your other one and do the exact same thing. So like that and like that. And you got to be careful with this because if this little thing in the middle is too straight, uh, you can get lag and the frame will like pause and you don't want that to happen. So be careful with that. And um, that's how you edit uh, cinematics. And if you want to get really fancy with it, like for this one, you can pre-compose it and uh, leave all attributes to blah, 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 who cares. And then um, set a keyframe on the scale and the rotation. And then maybe go and then maybe bring those like at the end, maybe a little bit after the end then go like at the very beginning and zoom in whoa crotch shot and then rotate it a lot so you get this cool like vertigo effect 
and then it like spices up your cinematic a lot. And it looks really nice, like you can always, you know, you know, what does it look like with the CC? Is this shit gonna load or? Oh yeah, I forgot. You know, like that. So that looks really good. You know, and then you can RAM preview it with the CC and the motion blur and everything, and it should look really, really nice. And there are other things you can do at the beginning of the end, like you can put like directional blur or some warp effect, offset transition. Uh, some people like to set it where the ends are in the middle, where it's kind of like that. You know, if you're looking at my face cam right now. And then uh, they fade it, which looks kind of clean, depending on how you edit it. Edited it. Edited it. But actually for this one, I think I'm going to rotate it like a lot more <laughs> because I can. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, make sure up there and yeah. So that's the tutorial for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There will be more tutorials to come because these tutorials are getting really well. See, I say that now, but this one's probably going to get, like, shit ratings. They're not as much as normal just because I jinxed it. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Um, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 4K. Well, my real goal is 10K. But subscribe anyways because you like Saudi K. Spitting bars. I'm going to stop this and go back to Mars. I should turn the camera off before I hurt myself.